Hi, welcome. Uh, this will be a series of perhaps two lectures on this using bijections to transfer structures, mathematical structures from a set with some structure to another set. Okay, usually these things are never taught, and so it may not be of any use for any exam purpose. But this will teach you why isomorphisms are important and what is the real reason why we want to study isomorphisms and also it teaches you how to create some very mysterious you know vector spaces or groups or fields rings whatever it is or even topological spaces using the bijections okay uh, just go through it I'm sure you will be excited to learn mathematics with this. Okay. And uh, there is, as I said, this is never taught and it's never explicitly even mentioned by people except uh, when I teach in MTTS courses and or the university courses, I used to do that. Okay. But anyway, so go through it. And there is an article of mine which I wrote about almost two years ago. I didn't publish that. Uh, that will be available on request if you send me a request through email mentioning your name, a course of studies and the institute where you are studying. Okay, this is just to have an idea. And as usual, I will appreciate if you go through the article and send me a list of typos, mistakes and suggestions for improvement. Okay, okay, let's get started. Yeah. So this is my channel name, youtube.com, stroke C, C for channel, Kumar HCU. And any email concerning my video lecture should be mailed to this address, kumaresa.zoom at gmail.com. If you send elsewhere, I will not respond at all. Okay. You may download, download the list of videos which are on, available on my channel from this place. 4D space mtts.org.in stroke EA, EA for expository article. You can also scan. And there you search for list of videos. And the list gives the complete descriptions, the links to videos, URL links to the videos. And if it is a subject, the videos will be arranged in order of where you can learn from. Okay. And this will be periodically updated. Here also, I will request some of the viewers. Whenever I create a new series, okay, please prepare an Excel sheet following my PDF thing on the list of videos. In that pattern, send me. For example, on dual space, I have about four or five videos. If you can give that kind of thing, I can keep up updating my list. I, because I am short of time, I would like any kind of support and help to run this channel successfully. Thank you very much. So let us get to that. So, right. So the basic idea is very simple. Suppose I have X and Y two sets and F is a bijection. Okay. And suppose let us say F has a structure, mathematical structure. I hope I started, yeah, okay, <laughs> mathematical structure. What do I mean by that? For example, it could be some binary operation may be available or with respect to a binary operation, a group structure or there is a vector space structure. That means an addition, commutative, an addition is defined on X as well as scalar multiplication or it could be a field or it could be a matrix space or it could be a topological space. Okay. Using this F we transfer the structure on X to Y. Okay. This is the basic idea. Okay. Let us look at a very specific picture and we will also work out some examples. Suppose this is my x. See this is a structure so that I am writing a rectangle. You see that? x is a structure. 
it has a mass structure and I have a F which is Y okay this may be my Y so it may not have structure right suppose I have some let us say X as a binary operation operation on X right then I want to transfer this to Y to get a binary operation operation let me call it dagger on Y how do I do that you start with any Y1 Y2 okay this is not the same star I'm sorry for that okay suppose I have Y1 and Y2 right since f is a bijection I know there is an x1 there is an x1 so that x1 maps to y1 and there is an x2 which gets mapped to this right since there is a binary operation I can combine them to get x1 star x2 this is a thing right so what do I do I define y1 y1 dagger y2 is this object which is nothing other than f of x1 star x2 that's how I define ok just pause try to understand the picture first I will good look at a very simple example So what do I do? I want to define y1 dagger y2. <coughs> what do I do? So let x1 be the unique element such so that f of x1 equal to y1, x2 be the unique element such so that f of x2 equal to y2. Then I know how to combine them y1, y2. I get x1 star x2. Now map it under f. So this will be f of x1 star x2. I call this as y1 dagger y2. That's it okay right so let us look at a concrete example one let x equal to y equal to r okay now on x I have the binary operation the binary operation is the standard addition standard or usual addition okay and f from x to y is this map f of I will call maps here as a t okay so let's say f of x equal to x plus 1 you understand that this is my map this is easy to check this is a bijection right now let us start with the y1, y2 in y. Right? So I have an R. This is my, let me lose this thing. This is my y1. This is my y2. Then what do I have on x? I have, this is my x. I have x1. What is x1? x1 is nothing other than y1 minus y1. And x2 is y2 minus 1. Right? Because f of x1 equal to x1 plus 1 that equal to y1 therefore my x1 equal to y1 minus 1 you understand that right therefore what do I do I look at x1 plus x2 the binary operation on R on x the binary operation is this but what is x1 plus x2 this is x1 is y1 minus 1 and x2 is y2 minus 1 that is y1 plus y2 minus 2 you understand this but what is f of x1 plus x2 f of x1 plus x2 is y1 plus y2 minus 2 plus 1 right that is y1 plus y2 minus 1 this I define to be y1 dagger y2 this is my definition okay pause review proceed 
make sure you understand. So I start with the y1, its pre image is x1, where x1 is y1 minus y2. I start with y2, its pre image is y2 minus y1. Then I add them here, x1 plus x2, that is y1 minus 1 plus y2 minus 1. When I add y1 plus y2 minus 1, these are all the standard addition. Okay. Now what should I do? I push it, this thing, the new object, under the map f. What is the map f? f it maps x2, x plus 1. Therefore, it maps x1 plus x2, namely y1 plus y2 minus 2 to y1 plus y2 minus 1 plus 1, which is this. Okay, please do. Right? Okay. Let us look at second example. I just want to go slow so that you will understand. Okay. Now, x is again r. My y is 0 infinity positive reals. Right? And the binary operation here on x is addition. Okay? I want a bijection from x to y. What is the bijection? The obvious bijection is f of x equal to e power x. Right? Yeah. So, what do I know? Now, start with y1 and y2 here. What does it correspond to? It corresponds to x1, where x1 is nothing other than log y1 and it corresponds to x2 where x2 is nothing other than log y2. Do you understand that? Now we do the addition here. Therefore, x1 plus x2 is log of y1 plus log of y2. Right? Is that clear? The, that is how the, you know that it is. Anyway, you can do that. Now, what is y1? Okay, let me write dagger y2. What is the binary operation on the y? This is by definition is f of x1 plus x2. That is e power log y1 plus log y2, which is e power log y1 into e power log y2, which is y1 times y2. This is a standard multiplication. Right? Therefore, y1 dagger y2 is nothing other than y1 times y2, the standard multiplication as our standard product. Okay? PRP. Okay? Very good. Oh, now, we are done. What do we have done? So, we had x. There is a binary operation on that and a bijection f onto y. Then, this binary operation star, we trans transfer to get a binary operation. Now, we can be a little more greedy. Suppose, we, under this binary operation, x already becomes a group. It's a group. Okay? Then, is y with the binary operation group. Is the question clear? So, I have a binary operation x, namely star, with respect to this, op this one is a group. Right? Now, I le learn using f how to this is a bijection, how to transfer this thing to get a binary operation dagger on y. Right? So, natural question I can ask is whether this is a group. Okay. Let us look at example first and go to this. We will do it. Okay. Example 1 continued. Okay. So, I have f from r to r. The map is x going to x plus 1 and therefore, we saw the star is nothing other than usual addition and the dagger that is x dagger y is x plus y minus 1. I hope I am correct. Let me just check. Yeah, this is the one. So, let me just put it in a thing so that I will immediately spot it in future. Okay. So, maybe I will write it as y1 plus y2 equal to y1 plus y2 minus 1. Okay? Minus 1. 
Okay, good. Now, I want to know whether this is thing. So, if that be the case, what should be the additive identity? Okay, we have to check commutativity. Okay, let us do that. What will be y2 dagger y1? That is by definition y2 plus y1 minus y1, which is same as y1 plus y2 minus y1, but that is same as y1 dagger y2. Do you understand that? This is all the standard. Okay, we are using commutativity, associativity of addition available on R. Okay, these two are equal. Okay, but this side is equal to this. Therefore, I got this. Okay, right. Now, next thing is associativity, exactly similar. So, I have y1 plus y dagger, okay, plus dagger y3. Let us look at this by definition. This is y1 plus y2 minus 1. This is a real number, dagger y3. That by definition is y1 plus y2 minus 1 plus y3 minus 1. That is y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus 2. Do you understand this? What uh, Go back. That is y1 plus y2 minus 1. Whatever you have, right? My y1 is going to be this fellow. This is my y1. This is my y2. Therefore, add this and add this and subtract. So, this is right. Now, let us look at the other one. y1 plus y2 plus y3. That is equal to y1. This is y2 plus y3 minus 1. That is going to be y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus 1 and minus 1 that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 minus 2. So, these two are equal and hence associated is clear. Pause, review, proceed. Okay. Next, I want to say um, existence of identity. How do I do that? Okay, let us just pretend we do not know. Let epsilon be an element in Y, namely this R on the domain, codomain R. Okay, so that Y dagger epsilon equal to Y for all Y in Y. But what is this? This is Y, this dagger, this Y plus epsilon minus 1 equal to Y. Therefore, it implies epsilon equal to 1. This should be true for every real number r. Right? That means what? Epsilon must be 1. You understand? Therefore, I claim that okay, epsilon equal to 1 is the identity for the binary operation dagger. Okay. Notice that what if let us look at f from r to r here with respect to standard thing I know zero is the identity identity. What is f of zero? F of zero is remember f of x is x plus one. Therefore f of zero is one. Therefore the identity okay zero is the identity for this operation. Therefore f of zero is the identity for this ordinary addition. This is a dagger. You understand that? f of 0 equal to 1. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And what should be the inverse? Next is inverse. What is the inverse? So, what I am looking for? Give me y1 in y, then I am find a y2 in y so that y1 plus y1 dagger y2 must be equal to epsilon which is 1. Yeah? Do you follow that? Because that the identity here is epsilon which is 1. But what is y1 plus y2? This is y1 plus ordinary y2 minus 1 that should be equal to 
1 or y2 equal to 2 minus y1. Do you understand that? Therefore, so, the inverse of y1, inverse of any y in y is 2 minus y. Okay, pause, review, proceed. Let us verify that. So, y plus dagger 2 minus y by definition is y plus 2 minus y minus 1 that is 1 which is our epsilon. You understand that? So, we verified. So, what have we shown? Now, r with dagger is a group. Okay, and what is y? y1 plus y2? That is y1 plus y2 minus 1. What is this? This is the addition of the standard addition of real numbers y1, y2, and minus 1. Okay, this is standard addition. This is my new addition on y. And what is the identity element? Identity element is 1. What is the inverse of y? Equal to 2 minus y. Yeah, so what have we shown? This is a group. Now notice that now you can see, okay, just pause, review, proceed. I am going to explain the role of isomorphism here. Okay, have patience. Even when I teach these things to MSc students, this little struggle, okay. But based on my experience, I think I have made it slightly easier from the video, hopefully. But uh, it will be good if you, at each PRP, take a pen and paper and write on your own and I understand. Okay. Once you do that way, even though that one hour video you may take about one and a half to two hours, you don't have to repeat. You would have learned the mathematics and you will also have insight about isomorphisms. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Let's continue. So now let us look at this here from R with addition to R with dagger. Okay, what is the map? X going to X plus 1. Now we know both are groups now. Okay, now I claim F is an isomorphism. Is an isomorphism of groups. But that's by very definition. Okay. You just go through it carefully. Later you don't have to check. You know by you will be convinced. Okay, we simply transfer the structure, there is nothing like that. Okay. So, whatever you are doing is the same. Now, what is f of x plus y? Okay, x plus y is x plus y minus 1. And what is f of x? x plus 1. What is f of y? y plus 1. Uh, maybe x1, x2. Okay, let me write. Sorry. Well, let us make my life clear. x1 plus x2. I have to check whether it is f of x1 plus f of x2. Okay. Now, what is f of x1 plus x2? That is x1 plus x2 minus 1. But what is f of x1? This is x1 plus 1. Okay, this is dagger here. Okay, dagger and x2 plus 1. These are the two numbers, but by the dagger, the binary operation, this is y1 plus y1 dagger y2 is y1 plus ordinary y2 plus ordinary addition y2 minus 1. Therefore, this is x1 plus x2 plus 2 minus 1, but that is x1 plus x2 minus 1. Therefore, they are equal. You understand that? And it, uh, by already it is a bijection, therefore this f is an isomorphism. Now stop to think. Suppose I gave R plus this with a weird definition y1 plus y2 y1 
dagger y2 equal to y1 plus y2 minus 1 where these are the ordinary addition okay check that this is a group you would check it you would check its commutative you would check associative we did that we proved the existence of identity namely yeah one is the identity for the dagger and the inverse of y is 2 minus y but you, you will be very surprised do you understand that when you look at r with the dagger it looks like a new thing okay you'll be very surprised what is that group I'm defining dagger operation in terms of the standard addition right something like y1 plus y2 minus 1 that is addition of y1 y2 and minus 1 okay and the additive identity is 1 and the inverse is of y is 2 minus y they all look very very mysterious okay now you see the thing it is nothing as then a set of real numbers with standard addition because f is an isomorphism so it's like saying r with the standard addition okay you put your fancy dress camouflage okay in disguise in disguise it appears as r under r with dagger okay that is why isomorphism is important that is you want to say g is isomorphic to h h may look strange or g may look strange but when you say g is nothing other than h if I have a bijection, you simply relabel them. Okay, each x was rebuilt, re relabeled in the co codomain as x plus 1. It's a new way of calling it. Think of it, okay, I define some operation only with respect to pan numbers, but each pan number is uniquely associated to other number. Then I can do the same thing there. You have follow that? Okay, see, two pan numbers, okay, a and B have 100 rupees and 200 rupees respectively. But the pan number A corresponds to the other number X. The pan number A B corresponds to other number Y. Then how much money X and Y have together? The same thing. Right? So I just X and Y, I go back to A and B. I know A and B what they have. I add them, then I get it. Do you understand this? Try to think. Don't go in a hurry. You, once you had understood, you would understood the real, real meaning of isomorphism. Let us continue with the second example. What is that example? F is from R to 0 infinity. F of x was e power x. Then, I have this addition, we saw that it corresponds to standard multiplication. That is, I start y1, dagger y2 is nothing other than y1, y2, ordinary product. Okay. Now, what is f of 0? f of 0 is e power 0, that is 1. Therefore, that is the identity of the codomain. Okay we know this and what is the inverse let us just for fun let us look at if i have x suppose i have y and under f this then the additive inverse is minus x and under f where will it correspond to f of minus x that is e power minus x but e power minus x 1 by e power x that is 1 by y that is y inverse you see that so f from ah uh, this you already know in group theory but now you understand better the positive reals and our standard product is a group isomorphism so in this case you will not find it very difficult okay here addition went into multiplication so you are very comfortable with this notion you understand but in the earlier case you see it's a little confusing yeah okay now, pause, review, proceed. Okay, the second example is easy because you had already seen it. So, you may not realize <coughs> that it is okay, something interesting. Whereas, the first example will be somewhat intriguing, confusing and once you understand, exciting. Okay, right. Now let's do want something extra. Okay, even the second example will become something much more interesting. Now I have R, right? The X R I had already given 
additive addition. Therefore, I, we already know it is a commutative abelian group. Very good. Okay, we transfer the structure to Y, where Y was another R or positive real. I can do something more. Look at the uh, domain R. I can also scalar multiply. Yeah. Can I transfer that structure? Is the question clear? Okay, let us get into act. So, we now transfer the vector space structure on R, this is the domain, to R in the codomain via the bijection x plus 1. Okay, so remember we had already done R. This addition, it went to R with the scalar multiplication. Okay, the map f was x going to x plus one. Therefore, y one dagger y two. I am just recalling so that y one plus ordinary y addition y two minus one. Okay, keep that in mind. Now I want a scalar multiply. How will I do that? Again, look at the picture. So this is my R. This is my R codomain. This is my F. X going to X plus 1. There I start with a Y. Start with a scalar lambda in R. This is a scalar. I want to define lambda times Y. Right? What do I do? I start with Y. Look at its pre-image. Maybe I should use a different notation so that it will be easier. Y. Okay. I start with a, a X. So, I have f of x equal to y. Therefore, I define this. This goes to lambda x. Okay. Then, I map it to f of lambda y. I call it as lambda star y. Okay. That is, a, that is I will define lambda star y equal to f of so, uh, lambda, lambda x. Sorry, f of lambda x. Don't get confused. Okay, just push the image. That is, take y, pull it back to get x, and do the scalar multiplication to get lambda x, and push it forward. Okay, I push it forward. This is, this is pull back, and this is push forward. Okay, let us do it. In this case, so what do I have? I have y. Therefore. Let y be in y, then x is equal to y plus y minus 1, therefore f of x equal to y. Okay. Then what is lambda times x? Lambda times x is lambda times y minus 1, that is lambda y minus 1. Right? So where does it go to? Sorry, <laughs> lambda y minus lambda. <laughs> okay. Right. Now what do I have to do? Look at f of lambda x. That is f of lambda y minus lambda. But what is f of x? f of x is x plus 1. Therefore, this is lambda y minus lambda plus 1. Therefore, I define lambda star y equal to lambda y minus lambda plus 1. So, what? Uh, so on the codomain, what is the scalar multiplication? Lambda times y. What do I do? I pull back y, I get x, that is y minus 1. Do the scalar multiplication of lambda times x, that is lambda times y minus 1. Okay? And these are all in the codomain, sorry, in the domain. Therefore, what is that? It is nothing other than lambda y minus lambda. Right? Now push it forward by f. When I push forward by f, what does happen? Lambda y minus lambda plus 1. I have to add 1. So I got it. So, notice that scalar multiplication defines ordinary scalar multiplication on the domain and addition of some extra elements. Okay, pause, review, proceed. Understand this first. Now, let's check various properties. For example, what are the properties I have to check? Let me just check 1 star y. 1 star y is equal to y. Okay, 
what is 1 star y? 1 star y according to this recipe is 1 times y minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to y. That is correct. Right? Second, I can ask something like say uh, alpha star beta star y whether it is equal to alpha beta star y. Right? And so on and so forth. Okay? I will just do not to Yeah, I am in screen share. Okay. Now what is this? Alpha beta star, this go back to the definition. This is ordinary multiplication minus okay. Alpha beta y minus alpha beta right minus lambda plus one plus one. This is equal to this by definition. But what is alpha star of beta star of y? This is alpha star of what is beta star of y that is beta y minus beta plus 1 yeah i hope i didn't make any mistake i am little worried now okay anyway let's see right what is this by definition this is alpha of this number beta y minus beta plus 1 minus alpha and let us go back lambda star y is lambda y minus lambda plus 1 that is alpha star of this this is your something y alpha times this minus alpha plus 1 but that is alpha beta y minus alpha beta plus alpha minus alpha plus 1 that is alpha beta y minus alpha beta plus 1 do you check this they are the same. Right? Next is lambda times y1 dagger y2 is equal to lambda times this star. Again, I have to put a star, lambda star of y1 dagger lambda star of y2. Make sure you understand the scalar multiplication here is this and vector addition is this. Yeah? So what is this by definition? That is lambda star of what is y1 plus y2? That's a that must be a real number. What is that real number? We know that that is y1 plus y2 minus 1. Okay, this. Please pay attention. Don't get confused. That's why I asked you to go through the earlier two examples, the first two examples where the binary operation is defined. You should do carefully. Okay, right. But now this lambda times something is lambda times y1 plus y2 minus 1 minus lambda minus 1 or plus 1 let me just go back plus 1 you understand that but this is lambda y1 plus lambda y2 minus lambda minus lambda plus 1 the, that is lambda y1 plus lambda y2 minus 2 lambda plus 1 this is what it is. Here let us look at this. This is lambda y1 minus lambda minus 1 uh, plus 1 sorry. Okay. This dagger this is dagger. Okay. This is real number. This is again lambda y2 minus lambda plus 1. And what is y1 plus y2? y1 dagger y2 that is y1 plus y2 minus 1. Therefore lambda y1 minus lambda plus 1 plus lambda y2 minus lambda plus 1 minus 1 right so this is equal to lambda y1 plus lambda y2 minus 2 lambda plus 2 minus 1 therefore plus 1 so I got these are equal pause review proceed So what have we done now? I I use the Bayesian f from R to R, namely x going to x plus one, to transfer the vector space structure on the domain R to the codomain R. So what are the vector addition on the codomain? Y1 dagger Y2 is Y1 plus Y2 minus one. And what is lambda star Y on the codomain? The scalar multiplication it is ordinary lambda times y 
minus lambda plus 1. Do you understand that? So with respect to that, we have shown it's a vector space. Right? So now do you understand this? Uh, let's just concentrate only on the binary operation I define on the codomain and the scalar multiplication I define on the codomain and you verify all the properties to show that R with the dagger with the star that is a scalar multiplication is a vector space over R. But it looks very complicated, right? Even the addition looks complicated. Scalar multiplication much worse. Lambda star y is lambda y minus lambda plus 1. <laughs> yeah? But if I give you, you will be bewildered, confused. Okay, you, I got an example. I can check everything. But what is this? Now you see the isomorphism. That co-domain vector space is isomorphic to the domain vector space, which we all know. Isn't it great? This is what we do. Okay. Please pay attention. Go through it. Go through this video once or twice. So you will see, you will begin to understand abstract mathematics very well. Why various isomorphisms, homeomorphisms, diffeomorphisms, ring isomorphism, module isomorphism, linear isomorphism, all of them are important. Because you try to identify you, you start with something, with a structure, you relabel them and then you do something you may not recognize. But isomorphism says, hey, don't worry, it's nothing other than what you know already know. That's what it does. Okay? Let us do with uh, positive reals and stop this lecture. Now let's do the same thing. So I have this example 2 continued with a vector space. So I have R plus and R nary. This is a vector space. Then I have uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. R plus and this is the ordinary multiplication and I want to say scalar multiplication star. Okay. How will I do that? Notice that what was our map? We are going to e power x. So what is y1 dagger y2? That is y1 times y2 standard multiplication, standard product. Now I want to start with a lambda in scalar. I want to define lambda star y, where y is in the codomain. Okay. Right? How do I define? So take y and pull it back. Where does it correspond to? It correspond to log y, which is your x. Then do the scalar multiplication, lambda star. So it is a lambda times x, and push it forward by f. That is e power lambda x. But what is e power lambda x? e power lambda log x. But that is x power lambda. You understand? The hence, lambda star y, sorry, e power log x, e power log x is y, right? So e power log y, I'm sorry, I'm going fast. Since the time is running out, e power lambda log y, e power lambda log y is y power lambda. Alright? You do the scalar multiplication of x. That is lambda times x. That is lambda times log y. And push it forward by up. That is e power lambda log y. E power lambda x which is e power lam lambda log y. What is that is y power lambda. Therefore, it is y power lambda. Therefore, on r plus, okay, okay, I have an new multiplication and this okay star what is this y1 dagger y2 is y1 times y2 ordinary product and lambda star y is y power lambda okay then this becomes a vector space okay and the map you have namely r with the addition this to R plus with this is a vector addition is ordinary product and this is the this power operation. Alright. Here y1 y2 is y1 y2 and lambda star y is y power lambda. Okay. This becomes a vector space isomorphism. It's a linear isomorphism.
some of you might have seen the second example in your linear algebra course teachers and textbook try to bewilder you they try to kind of make you wonder okay there's vector uh, vector you know what is it uh, identity for the vector addition okay the zero need not be zero it is one here yeah and the scalar multiplication lambda star y is not ordinary multiplication it is power operation y to the power lambda so you can check line by line this is it and now you know where that example came from you simply identify positive reals with r via the inverse map log y went to log y that bijection okay sets up yeah vector transfer the vector space structure on the domain r plus dot to r plus dot star i hope you all enjoyed it you should be excited okay in the next our video we will extend this little more okay we will from algebra we will go to some other domain like perhaps matrix space because i want to make this beauty accessible to bsc students okay i will stick to matrix space in the next lecture okay take care stay safe we'll meet again